Hello, my name is Shane Kelly. Today I will present TAME, Target Aware Implicit Mapping for Agricultural Crop Inspection. Global agriculture is a critically important industry that strives to feed the world's growing population, but faces many rising challenges such as limited arable land supply. Crop inspection is a key piece of improving agricultural efficiency. However, traditional crop inspection methods are manually intensive, which makes the process slow, expensive, and error-prone. Agricultural robots, such as this one, show promise in helping to reduce some of the manually intensive aspects of crop inspection, which could lead to many advancements such as automated yield estimation and disease detection. Our work focuses on creating a high fidelity mapping pipeline that could be used by these robots to map the environment for automated crop inspection. Our system builds upon recent advancements in neural volume rendering, whereby a deep neural network leverages a supervised differentiable rendering pipeline to learn the 3D contents of a scene from RGB images. Our main improvements over related works are a classical pose initialization strategy, use of Gaussian positional encoding, and use of loss and fruit targeted sampling during training. The first of our system's improvements over prior works is a classical pose initialization strategy. In agricultural scenes like ours with a large number of repeated visually similar features such as strawberry clusters, poses can easily converge to incorrect local minima. Here we show that novel renderings from a prior work, BARF, are able to more accurately and quickly converge when we modify BARF with our pose initialization strategy, where we use a classical SLAM system to provide an initial guess of the poses for all input images. Our second improvement over prior works is to leverage Gaussian positional encoding from Tansic et al. Positional encoding raises the dimensionality of input 3D points before passing them to the neural network, which helps the network to more easily learn the high-frequency spatial contents of the scene. Compared to BARF's coarse-define approach, the Gaussian positional encoding allows the network to more quickly converge while still resulting in smooth renderings without missing high-frequency spatial content. Our next improvement is loss-targeted sampling during training. Many of our training images can be split into regions with very high complexity, such as fruits, which will take many training samples to learn, and regions with very low complexity, such as black backgrounds, which will take very few training samples to learn. We exploit this varying complexity by maintaining an estimate of the loss distribution over all images, and then, during training, we sample more frequently from image regions with high loss. We now describe our novel loss estimation method, which is both fast to compute and produces a full resolution loss estimate. Let's imagine we are training our implicit mapping system using the training image in the top left and want to maintain an estimate of our loss distribution over the image. First, we initialize our loss estimate to a flat distribution from random samples over the training image. Then we draw training samples from a lightly blurred version of our loss estimate. We then query the network at these sample locations and compute the loss by comparing the results to the ground truth training image. Note that no additional computations are required to render these samples since loss at these points has already been computed for training. We then update our loss estimate at the location of each of the sampled pixels. As we repeat this cycle for every training iteration, our loss estimate highlights regions of the scene where our network has not yet learned the contents of the scene with high fidelity, which are typically areas with large gradients and fine details. With loss-targeted sampling, as shown in the top right, we sample much more densely from highly informative regions such as the outlines of fruits and we are able to capture the minuscule details of the background of the scene as indicated by the yellow arrows. However, for automated crop inspection tasks, we want to focus this attention to detail onto the fruits in our scene rather than the background. This leads to our final improvement, fruit targeted sampling. Here we use a neural network to detect fruits in our training images and then sample more densely from these fruit pixels when mapping the scene. The image in the bottom right shows that with loss and fruit targeted sampling, our network now focuses training samples on the regions of high loss within key fruit regions of the scene. This results in higher fidelity mapping of fruit outlines, leaves, and stems as indicated by the yellow arrows. Without increasing training time, we are now able to detect individual stems within a cluster and identify tiny leaves on the tops of strawberries. We now present the results of our work compared to prior works. Here we show RGB and depth view synthesis results from training two prior works, NERF and BARF, as well as our system, TAME, on a row of strawberry crops from an indoor greenhouse. Qualitatively, TAME results in the highest fidelity mapping with crisp edges while BARF tends to over blur edges and NERF is susceptible to high frequency noise. 
When our system is evaluated on another crop, in this case, sweet peppers, we observe similar results. Tame's novel view renderings in both RGB and depth have more crisp and accurate edges than both BARF and NERF. We also quantified each system's view synthesis accuracy after training. Here, whole scene evaluates reconstruction accuracy compared to ground truth on all pixels in the reconstruction images, whereas fruit only evaluates only fruit pixels. Tame outperforms both BARF and NERF across all metrics, but does especially well in the fruit only metrics due to its targeted sampling of key fruit regions of the scene. In conclusion, we have presented TAME, a target-aware implicit mapping system for agricultural crop inspection, which efficiently focuses training on complex scene regions, especially targets fruits, which are a key part of crop inspection, and improves agricultural implicit mapping capabilities compared to prior works. For more details about our work, please find our paper by following this QR code. Thank you very much for your attention.